Okay, ooh, this is a little hot. Okay, there we go. Quick story, uh, about a year ago, I, I filmed a, a video for my new BSA. I can show you, you should have seen it already. Uh, 177. And I was on the process of looking for the best hollow point. I bought uh, any all the hollow points you can think of. I went all out and I filmed everything. I think I edited it. It was on a different computer though. I just didn't upload it since I was in the process of moving. And uh, I put it in my shed over here. It rained a lot during that time and for a few months. And the water gets seeped through the shed into the box. And there I had all my pellets and some equipment and everything just got wet and rusted away and it's just it's sad you know it's, it's all carelessness of my part so it is what it is um i think the the um some of the adapters yeah i think some of the adapters were there so that's uh that's why i'm not really using those guns right now just my 177 since i had it had the adapter on my pump the whole time so that one got saved but uh, when I was going through the box, the rusted box, um, I found a few pellets. That was a couple months ago. Uh, some JSVs for the 25, 22, 177, and the 30 cow gun that I have as well. So I think it was like a 10 for each or two, I, even though I had like six of them for each gun. So yeah, it's a lot of money wasted there. But I found uh, some hollow points there. Um, I found these two like sample packs I got on eBay that has the JSB long end shorts, the metal mags, and the Hornets. Um, the 22 were fine, they, nothing happened to me. They had this little, like, what do you call it, insulation or whatever you want to call it, thing, so it, nothing leaked in there. On the 177 though, for the most part, they all went bad. Um, mostly got oxidized. Some didn't, so the ones that didn't, I kind of you know, took care of them, like cleaned them up. Uh, make sure there, there wasn't any rust or anything. So I'm gonna use those for this little test here and a little tin of crow magnums as well, even though the tin itself looks all rusted and messed up. The inside is just like new, so I'm gonna use those as well. Um, I wouldn't recommend any of you guys do that. You know, it just, you see little oxidizer, or your pellets are not good anymore, just throw them away. Um, so this is me, I'm not recommending this. So, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm planning a trip uh, or just a day hunting next weekend. And this is the first time I'm gonna take out the BSA. So I wanna use the hollow point for this and or hopefully this if they, if they work first. Cause I honestly, I don't remember if they were if they shot fine or not um, over a year ago. And if, if I do get a good one out of these, we'll use those for hunting. So let's go ahead and do this and see how it goes. They all set to go. Just wanted to say that I'll be doing this with one uh, camera, aka my phone, since uh, it's just what I can use right now. Apologize for that. I uh, have the crony set right there with the lights, so you guys can um, can see the FPS. So you'll have to trust me. I won't be able to record it at the same time when I'm shooting. So um, I mean, just trust me. <laughs> and. We'll be taking it a shot at 25 yards down range uh, with four pellets and five shots each.
So of course I had to include some slow-mo clips. I used the JSB just for a baseline. So I wasn't originally planning on showing this clip, so I'll just do a voiceover. Basically what I learned with the 177 hollow points is that at 25 yards, they don't really expand. You know, there's no really any difference between these and the JSB. So uh, I don't really see any reason to use these pellets farther than that. You know, if I'm gonna shoot farther, just stick to my accurate pellet, which is the JSB, since uh, hitting that kill zone is, is most importantly uh, these hollow points aren't gonna really do much past 30 yards. Uh, I mean, this, this hot this gun is shooting pretty hot, as you can see, it's shooting over a thousand feet per second for the most part. So anything lower than that, you can expect less, right? So this test was supposed to be pretty simple, but it's a little deeper than that, right? Uh, a lot of people do these tests at point blank range, or 10 yards or less. You know, obviously they're gonna expand, but farther than that. You know, nothing, not much is gonna happen. The big caliber is different because you know they have more, more energy downrange, so it keeps it and it expands. But for now, I might stick to just regular JSBs um, for hunting anywhere farther than 30 yards. Closer by, I'll, I'll for sure use the Chrome Magnums or the, the Polymaxons. They're pretty accurate and they, they expand pretty good. I mean, at, at 25 yards. Um, so that's it. It's supposed to be a simple little test, but uh, I got a little bit more, um, more of a learning process for me. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll try and get that hunting clip for you guys as soon as possible. Thank you.